Welcome back to another Professional Picks College Basketball video. Just wrapped up our plays for the round of 64 going 5-0. and You guys can check out the video above for the receipt. We're going to keep it rolling here through the round of 32. Got a video today. I'm going to post another one tomorrow. So got my two favorite picks for tomorrow. Jump right into it. First one, we got North Carolina versus Baylor. Neither team faced much of a competition in their first game with Baylor absolutely destroying Norfolk State. But even more impressively, North Carolina just really killed Marquette. It wasn't even close. They dominated the entire game. I think North Carolina is playing their best basketball of the year. I mentioned that in my last video where I picked them to beat Marquette. And just looking even back to the ACC tournament, North Carolina beat Duke there before they lost to a very hot Virginia Tech team. Regardless, I think this North Carolina team is playing great. And Armando Bacot looks like the All-American that he should be. On the other hand, we have Baylor, who's also playing very well. But they were the sole number one seed for a good part of the season. Um, they lost Jonathan Chamo Chachua back in February. Hasn't affected them too much. But um, looking into this a little bit more, Baylor is actually, I want to say, one and seven on the year when they get out rebounded. I think this is a very tough matchup for them going against, as mentioned, Armando Bacot, Brady Manick, Dawson Garcia. North Carolina has three good posts that could really start on any team. Um, they're a deep team, just like Baylor. I think North Carolina is the most dangerous eight seed. So the pick here is going to be North Carolina plus five and a half for a unit. Once again, I'm even personally taking a little bit on money line as well. I think North Carolina wins this game. But the official play is North Carolina plus five and a half. Baylor, obviously, could shoot the ball. I wouldn't be surprised if they do end up winning the game. Adam Flagler could get hot. Um, Matt Meyer. They have a bunch of guys who could really pull it from deep. James Aquino. So I don't want to completely – rule out Baylor. They're the one seed for a reason, and they're solid favorites in this game. But I think North Carolina is going to really challenge them on the boards. I know they have Flo Thamba, but other than that, uh, Kendall Brown, Jeremy Sochan, they're more stretch fours. Uh, they like to play on the perimeter a bit. I think North Carolina is going to dominate the paint, grab some more rebounds, get those few extra possessions, and that's going to be a huge deciding factor in this one. North Carolina plus five and a half is the play. Next up, we got Tennessee versus Michigan. Once again, I had Michigan in my previous video. They pulled through. Didn't look too great at the half, but they're without Devontae Jones, their point guard. He's practicing again. I think he's going to be good to go in this one with him basically being a game time decision in their first round matchup. And Colorado State's a very good team. I thought Michigan coming back in the second half and ultimately pulling away in the end was very impressive win without their starting point guard. And then obviously Hunter Dickinson's X factor and he gets kind of negated a little bit more in the big 10, just with all the great post threats. I don't think any other conference has the quality of post play that the big 10 has Tennessee Obviously, a very balanced team. They could go eight, nine deep, all solid players. But I need to see somebody on this roster um, stop Dickinson. I think this is another very good matchup for Michigan. And once again, we're taking the underdog plus five and a half. That's our one unit play. Tennessee's great team. Honestly, one of my favorites for a while. But watching them a lot throughout the season, betting on them. They're inconsistent. They're good. They could pretty much beat anybody with all the talent they have, but they definitely lay an egg every now and then. Um, I think that also just goes to on their balance. They don't have an absolute star who's playing great every night. Kennedy Chandler, he's a freshman. He's very good. He can be that guy sometimes, but I just think Michigan could keep this one close enough, cover the five and a half. Once, and again, once again, I'm sprinkling a little bit on the money line. But the official play is Michigan plus five and a half here. Let me know what you guys are taking in the comments. If you guys are tailing and fading me or what your favorite plays are for tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you guys can start making some more money with me. And I wish you guys all good luck.
Um, just to wrap it up, we got our pr promo with prize picks. See there on the left, they'll match your first deposit up to $100 using our promo code PROPICS. It's a daily fantasy app. You can use it in Texas, California, Florida, and you make entries on player props. Super popular. You guys should go give it a look if you haven't already. But once again, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you guys tell me tomorrow and hope we can keep making some more money. Thank you guys for watching.